Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie and this here is little Rosemary. She is five months old and you might see my other kids in here for a minute as well. Um, but today I thought I would share with you the things we've been working on to help her get to the sitting position because um, she's been sitting since independently since she was about four and a half months old. It started gradually for her around probably three and a half months and then worked its way up to independent sitting at like four and a half. Your baby might be different. I don't want you to focus on the age here. Some babies sit at four months, some babies sit at six, some babies sit at nine. So don't focus on the age, just focus on where your child is developmentally. Um, and yeah, these are the tips that I have how we basically got to independent sitting. So the first thing you wanna do, you could do this as early as they're born, is tummy time. You hear that over and over, but it really is so important on the road to sitting. It's the foundation for so many things. I cannot relate to you how important tummy time is. Even if your child hates it, try to encourage it. It does not have to be, you know, for five minutes at a time every day. It could be 30 seconds here, one minute there, 20 seconds there, you know, on your chest. There's so many different ways to do tummy time and it can just be in little spurts, but Definitely, definitely try to encourage your little one to do it. Getting head control is the first step of that, but then it like goes beyond that. It goes to neck strength, shoulder strength, upper body strength. Now once they're a little earlier, you can move from tummy time on your chest as mom to on a boppy with their chest on the boppy and they can like reach for toys or something. So if you haven't seen my grasping video, grasping obviously comes before sitting. So that I talk about tummy time with the chest on boppy reaching for toys in that one. I'll, I'll link that video. But um, after, you know, plenty of tummy time, another thing that you can do is back time, which seems like when they're on their backs, they're not doing anything, but that actually is helping them in the sitting process because it is working on their trunk and not only their trunk but their chest and their abs like it works other things so you can give them a toy and they might you know play with it in different ways their legs might come up you might see them reach for their toes or start trying to put their toes in their mouth which is so cute and they call it happy baby pose for a reason but it actually is helping their body Get, work some of those muscles that you need for sitting as well. They'll start getting some body awareness and a lot of times if you just leave them on their back or their tummy long enough, they will start rolling. Rolling often comes before sitting, although not always. Um, so as you do that, you'll start doing that. Um, there are different things you can do to help baby roll, of course. Uh, that's not this video, but maybe I'll do one on that later. If you're interested in that, comment below so I know. Um, and then once you you know are doing tummy and back which both you can do at birth once they're kind of there you can start wearing them once you see they kind of want to be in that sitting position you can just hold them in a sitting position you can hold them in your arms sitting more upright rather than laying down like a newborn just basically getting them used to the sitting position rather than the laying down cradle position that newborns often like to be in and of course that can start, you know, two, three months ish time frame. Once you have that under control, those are all things you can do early. And then you're going to want to do parent assisted sitting. The first thing you can do is basically just sit with your knees up, put baby on your knees and rock them around. You can hold them at their rib cage to make sure they're sturdy. And basically you're just trying to get them to wobble a bit because every time that they wobble, signals are being sent to their brain firing, telling them how to adjust to stay more stable. So the wobble is really, really important. You want them to wobble. So holding them at their rib cage so that you can make sure, you know, they're neck is supported their trunk is supported a little more that's a really good thing to do once they get a little more sturdy you can hold a little lower maybe around their hips or their bum and kind of do it that way and make them wobble a little more that's all going to really help with their balance you can also do it on a ball if you have like an exercise ball or just like a big soccer ball you know whatever it might be you can sit them on a ball and do the same thing that you were going to do with your knees hold them at the rib cage, just roll that ball a little bit, roll baby on the wall, make them wobble, make their brain get those signals that they can then send to adjust positioning to help them balance. So important that wobble is what we're looking for. Another thing you can do is self-assisted sitting. So that was parent-assisted where you're really holding them, then self-assisted. So they're doing the sitting, 
but you're kind of helping them. So one thing you can do is just sit with your legs kind of in a straddle position and put baby right in between. That way baby can fall back on your body and be supported. If they kind of fall to the side, you can support them with your hands or with the thighs of your legs. Another thing you can do is put them right in a boppy pillow and let them sit surrounded by the boppy pillow and have that. They can still wobble that way, but they're protected. I would recommend highly you always do this while watching your little one. You don't want to walk away and leave them there if they're not sitting yet. So definitely make sure you're there. You can also, you know, put them on their play mat with their toys. Give them something to reach for. So maybe in the exercise gym, you know, you can hang toys from it. Put them in front of that. Let them reach for toys and put pillows surrounding them. It could be the boppy. It could be just, you know, pillows from your bed. It could be couch cushions, whatever it is, so that if they do fall, they have the pillows there to assist them. And then of course, there's always options like the bumbo, like a swing, a seat, you know, of some sort, a high chair, those sorts of things. Now, I want to say the bumbo is great. I love the bumbo personally. I will sit it on my, you know, countertop or whatever and chop veggies while they're right there. I love the bumbo. It helps them in that sitting position, but the bumbo seat is not helping them sit. It's really a convenience thing and a getting them in that upright position thing. It is not to help them develop the muscles to sit. Why is that? Because it eliminates the wobble, that all important wobble. They need to be able to wobble for their brain to tell them to adjust what they're doing in order to balance better. So things like the bumbo, the high chair, those things that kind of get them in that upright position, they don't actively help them develop skills or muscles that they need to sit. They are convenient. I'm with you on that. I use them for that purpose. And when they get to a certain age, they just want to be upright. So just helps them stay happy because they're in that position. I get it. I use them. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying that if you are trying to help your baby actually sit on their own unassisted, those types of devices are not going to help in that. I know a lot of people, I've heard from a lot of people, you know, they just put them in the bumbo and then they hope they're gonna sit. That's not gonna help them sit. It'll get them in that position. It will give them security. It will be so convenient for you, but it will not help them develop those skills. And oftentimes when you do put baby in there, if you see them like slumping forward or slumping to the side and like resting on it, they probably are not ready for it. You do need to have some sort of muscle strength in order to sit in those things properly as to not you know throw off any alignment of your other parts of your body so you don't want to see you like a hunched over baby in those things they just probably aren't ready yet so make sure that you give them time out of it on a mat or something to be able to explore and play while trying to sit because those things are hindering the muscles from learning and they are stuck in that position and they can't learn body awareness and figure out some things they need to balance for example the next part of this is tripod sitting babies often learn to sit you'll see them like sit and lean with a hand on the ground it's called tripod sitting or they'll put one foot up or one foot in one two hands in front of them it's called tripod sitting it's the next step in progression to sitting unassisted and if you have them in a bumbo they can't learn to do that they can't learn how their body balances themselves they can't learn that body awareness so it is really important to have time outside of those structured things and gadgets so moving on like i said the next step is tripod sitting you can kind of help them put their hand down so that they know it's there, but they will gradually be able, if you give them enough time, they will gradually start doing that to help themselves balance in whichever way they need. And after that comes sitting and all of a sudden they're just going to be sitters. So once you see that, you know, you'll start to see that they're sitting on their own and it's going to be a great graduation day. I would definitely recommend for the first month or two that they are sitting to still kind of maybe bar barrier them with pillows of some sort because you never know i know mine has been sitting for maybe three weeks on her own now without needing any sort of something on her next to her to hold her or help her balance but sometimes she'll drop her toy and it'll go a little bit to the left and then she reaches for it with her hand can't use it to balance and will topple over so it's nice to have that pillow there. 
Honestly, sometimes she's at the point now where she's balancing well enough that that fall is really slow and she just kind of like manipulates it into a fall roll that gets her on her tummy. Babies just, I don't know, they intuitively, if you give them the chance to wobble and give them the chance that their muscles need to kind of figure it out themselves, I think they kind of gradually go into that. But I do think it's really important to make sure that they are safe, that you are watching them, that they are, you know, supported by some safety stuff so that they don't get hurt. Anyway, I hope that this video is helpful. I hope it gives you a couple things that you can do to kind of help your baby on that journey towards sitting. And if you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section about other helpful things that you might want. Learning to crawl, learning to do whatever, just activities. I have a lot of activity videos. I'll link some of those below as well. And I hope to see you guys again here on this channel. I will see you soon. Bye.